Invisible Buildings Teacher's Guide Part 1 Overview of the Project Invisible Buildings is an activity for primary school children based on archaeology. The project uses GPS technology to simulate an archaeological dig in an accessible, educational and fun way. These videos will give you a simple overview of how the games work and how the project can be run. Invisible Buildings simulates an important archaeological discovery being made beneath the school. The nature of the find emerges in stages, from metal detection through geophys and finally digging. Each stage reveals more clues, encouraging speculation and discussion until the full building emerges at the end of the activity. Finds are made by actively exploring the space outside using the GPS-enabled mobile phones built into the kit. At the end of each stage, the group analyse what they found in the classroom, cross-referencing their finds with supporting resources provided on the Invisible Buildings website. The game you'll see in this example is based on the discovery of a Roman villa, but different templates will be available and the activity can be adapted to suit your school's particular curriculum. It is designed for a whole class working in two groups over three distinct stages. It can be completed in one full day. Invisible Buildings supports learning about history and technology, encourages classroom discussion and teamwork, and gives your kids some great exercise at the same time. But the project is flexible, and once you understand the three activities, you may wish to adapt the program to your own schedule or to complement your own curriculum. The class will be split into two groups for most of the day, indoor and outdoor then swapping over for each of the three activities. Each group will have their turn at each activity. One grown-up will play the role of archaeologist, supervising the simulated dig outdoors. In our videos, John is playing the role of Diggory Pitt, who is visiting Sunnymead Junior School because he suspects that something interesting is buried beneath the playing field. After an introduction, the class is split in two, and the first group heads outside with Diggory to perform the first activity, metal detection, which is explained in video two.